I made it to the Desert Creek Campground out here in the Humboldt Toyab National Forest and I'm about to set up the roof nest for the very first time. But yeah, let's just do a step-by-step -step, uh, setup of the roof nest. So first I wanna grab my ladder. So they give you this nice, uh, pretty nice carrying case. Mine actually already has a hole in it somewhere. But yeah, really nice carrying case for the ladder. And it's heavier than it looks for sure. But you want it to be sturdy. And actually when you stand on it, it doesn't feel that sturdy, but you know that it's gonna hold you. So we'll set up our ladder first. That way we'll get easier access to all the latches and, and things. We're gonna hook our ladder into these grooves here. Uh, and it's pretty easy. It's a lot easier when the tent is actually open. But I like to do it when it's not, so that we have easier access to the actual latches, etc. Next, we're gonna do our front and rear safety straps so that we can unlatch the rear of the tent and start to pop it open. It is pretty windy, so I'm a little hesitant to open it, but I'm pretty sure it'll be okay in the wind. The next step is to unlatch the rear latches, followed by the front latches. The pneumatic pistons should just pop the tent straight up. There we go. Lastly, we just pull the rain coverings around the edges, super easy so that no water gets down into your mattress. You do not want water in your mattress. Now we're gonna hop into the tent and get our poles out that hold up the awnings for each of the doors. Now there are three doors. There's a, a door on each side and a door in the rear and a window at the front. You can place the ladder at the side, either side or the rear of your vehicle. Once you get in, you're gonna notice that there are two elastic bungees kind of pulling the tent tight. So when you close it, uh, it pulls the sides into the inside of the tent instead of going outside and you have to mess with that. So that's a really nice feature. All you have to do is unhook this right by the door and you'll see that here. And then all we need to do is hang out our shoe bag on the outside and we're good to go. Just getting everything ready here in the uh, roof nest and Yeah, it's got, there is so much space in here. I mean, more than enough length, more than enough width for two, pe two people. I'm almost six foot and there's an extra eight inches, or probably 10 inches below my feet. Uh, there's just so much room. This mattress is comfortable. Um, when, when they send you your roof nest, I got the Sparrow. Um, they send you this nice little dome light as well. It's built in with an LED strip light there. It's kind of cold, but, um, and then of course I, I also have my, my dome light that I had. Um, yeah, this is great. I mean, so much room, a lot of headroom. You're, man, it's windy. Um, I'm actually going to close. Nice is it's also easy to pull your out exterior flaps in close to the tent. I just kind of pulled them down down the rod there, to, and the, the tension itself keeps them really taut. And yeah, it's great. And then what's nice is there will be some there'll be great ventilation tonight because I can leave these open. You know, leave my windows open. It's not going to rain, so I don't have to worry about precipitation. But there's just so much room. If the uh, if you take the gear loft out, you have more than enough room to sit up. 
comfortably. You could, uh, you know, get one of those ground chairs and just lean back and read in here if it's raining. Tons of room, great ventilation. Yeah, this is awesome. It's gonna be a nice night. I would recommend that when you set up your ladder, put something under the bottom of the ladder, like a rock or I, I threw the firewood under there, kind of to, just to catch the ladder because right now it's, it's digging into the dirt and keeps getting closer to the vehicle and it can actually eventually get up to the vehicle and you don't want that. You don't want it leaning against your vehicle.